Do you want to learn how to create this effect for your text? Stay tuned. Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm your host Ruben from Jam, and today I'll be showing you how to get your text to look sporty, which could be used for mascot logos, sports events, etc. Open up an Illustrator document and using the text tool write down the name of the team. In my case I'll be using Eagles as an example. The font of choice is important. I usually lean to square fonts because they look solid. I'm using Evogria here. I like to make the first and last letter slightly larger than regular, just a style preference. After writing the name, try to see if anything seems off with the kerning and adjust it yourself, holding Option or Alt plus left and right arrows. Once you're happy with what you got, right click and create outlines to the text, which will turn the text into shapes, you can't edit it from this point. This is more of a style part, I like to add some sharp edges to the first and last letters. Grab the pen tool and add some curves to the edge and then hold Option or Alt and drag the same shape to the other side. Then right click, transform, reflect and fill the gaps with a square or using the pen tool. Select all the shapes together and go to the Pathfinder and click Unite. Now all the shapes are merged together. Now hold Ctrl Command C and then Ctrl Command F which copies the shape and pastes it in front. Then we're gonna right click the shape we just pasted, arrange, send to back. Head to the top of Illustrator, click on Object, Path, Offset Path. This will increase the size of the shape uniformly in all directions. Play with the numbers a little bit until everything kinda overlaps. Don't forget to turn the preview on. Now we have two shapes, the large outline in the back and the text in the middle. Change the text to white to see it better. You can try any color you want. Select both shapes together and go to Effect, Warp, Arc. This will curve the letters a little bit. I don't advise going so high or so low. Just a slight curve looks good enough. After applying the arc, head to Object and click Expand. So the shape is expanded and the points are in place. Now copy the entire shape and paste it again. Go to Pathfinder and unite it all. This is to give it a little bit of a 3D effect. Make the shape smaller and send it to the back and then connect the anchor points of the bigger shape to the smaller one. Unite all the shape as one and send it to the back. This next part is also a style part. I like to select the original text and offset path slightly smaller, put the negative value as much as you want and click OK. You will see why in a minute. Now go over the entire shape with the pen tool forming a curved shape that covers half the text. Then select the letters using the direct select tool which is the white cursor or hotkey A. Give the letters a slightly darker tone. After that use the Shape Builder tool, Shift M as a shortcut, then hold Alt or Option and drag across the top shapes to remove them. Then remove the curved shape that we just built, which will leave us with this nice glossy effect. Lastly copy the entire shape and send it to the back, unite it so it's one shape, offset path slightly bigger than the logo to give it a border effect. I usually use the most dominant color in the text. Now if you add a darker background, this is how it looks. Thank you for making it to the end of the tutorial, if you found it helpful please leave a like and share it with your friends if you find it useful. If you have any video suggestions leave them down in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of the jam talks. See you in the next one.